In this video, I will show you every single AI tool currently in Premiere Pro. Believe it or not, I have saved hundreds of hours using these tools, and I think you'll find at least one that can help you do the same. If you have the most recent version of Premiere Pro, then you should have all of these AI tools, if not more. The first AI tool that I want to show you is the Speech Enhancement tool. So let's navigate to this tool. If your screen looks something like this, which I assume most of yours will, you need to come up to Window and then open the Essential Sound panel, which is right here. Let's click on that and you'll see it pop in the right side of your screen. To show you what this effect can do, I have two audio samples, one where there is background noise and I am speaking, and one where there is no background noise. Let's listen to the difference between these two clips. This is me speaking with background noise. This is me speaking without background noise. So we want this first clip to sound a little bit more like the second clip. Basically, less background noise, and one way we can do this is with the AI tool Enhance Speech. So let's click on our audio track here, and then navigate to this Essential Sound panel. Then we can click Dialog, and as you can see, there is this Enhance Speech option. So make sure that you check it, and then let's just hit Enhance Speech. Now you see this mix amount, and this is the amount that it will enhance your speech. And so now let's just listen to what it sounds like. This is me speaking with background noise. So as you can see, it got rid of a little bit of background noise. So if we want to get rid of all of the background noise, we actually need to raise the mix amount up to 10. And let's see what this sounds like. This is me speaking with background noise. So as you can see, now there is no background noise at all. But it does sound a little bit like a robot, because if we compare it to my actual voice here, this is me speaking without background noise. You can hear it's just a lot more full and a lot more natural sounding than this. This is me speaking with background noise. But if you're in need of a quick fix or you're not that great with audio, then I would recommend just using these. The next AI audio tool I want to show you is the Remix tool. So you will often use this for music, and this is a really, really helpful tool. Come to the toolbar, hold over the Ripple Edit tool, and then click on Remix tool. And so now I have a music track in our timeline here. I'm actually going to lower the volume here, minus 15. And what you can do with the Remix tool is, let's say your video ends up being around 10 minutes long, but your music only goes to three minutes. So how do we fix this? Well, the Remix tool. If you click on the end of your audio clip where your music is and drag it to the end, you'll see that it will extend the audio clip to match the length. As you can see, it's not quite exact. It went a little bit past here, but it's a lot better than having to manually take your audio clip, duplicate it, and find sections where the music matches up. So if we do this, drag it to the end, and then let's listen to the cuts and just hear how smooth they are. You, like, like you can't even tell that there was a cut there. And you can also use it to shorten audio clips as well. The last AI audio tool I want to show you is the auto ducking feature. So let's say you have a music soundtrack and you also have an audio of your voice over that soundtrack. Now, when you're speaking, you don't want the audio of the music to overrule the audio of your voice. If we listen to these two clips right now, you'll hear that they combat each other. This is me speaking without background noise. Like, it's just kind of annoying. And so I want to hear clearly what I am saying. So to do this, I need to first identify my audio clips. So my voice is dialogue. So I'll click on my voice track in the timeline here and then come over to the essential sound panel and click on dialogue. Then I'll come to my music track in the timeline and come back to the essential sound panel and click on music. Once I've done this, I'm going to click on ducking and make sure that dialogue is selected so that when I speak, the music volume goes down. And I'm gonna change the duck amount to negative 30 just so you can really see the effect here. And then you have to hit generate keyframes. Now, let's play it back. This is me speaking without background noise. And as you can hear, when I speak, the audio of the music goes down in decibels quite a bit, and we can hear what I'm saying a lot clearer. So that covers the AI audio tools. Now let's check out Premiere Pro's AI text-based editing, probably one of the best AI additions Adobe has added to Premiere Pro. So let's check it out. So let's come up to Window here, and then open up the text panel. Click on that. And as you can see, we have transcript, captions, and graphics. We're going to stay in the transcript panel right now. And as you can see, I already have this transcript from this video on my timeline. Now, this is because I have auto transcription set to be on. If yours is not on, then you can come to import and then click on automatic transcription. If not, you can manually transcribe it in this panel now. So there are a ton of cool things that you can do with this feature, but let me show you the ones that are gonna save you the most time. So come up to the filter icon right here. Let's click on that. 
and then come down to pauses, click on that. And as you can see, all of the pauses where I'm not speaking in my recording are called out here. And what's awesome is we can hit delete and then have extract selected, which means we will basically just delete those sections of the video and click on delete all and watch the timeline here. Incredible. So all of these silences were basically just removed from the video. Pretty cool. Now here's the second most useful tool. Let's come back up to filter here and then go to filler words. And as you can see, we have four filler words in this clip on my timeline. Now these are ums or ahs and basically Premiere's AI will auto detect those. And you can do the same thing you did with the silences by hitting delete and delete all. And as you can see on our timeline, they get deleted. And so let's listen to it now. I went to the park yesterday and I didn't think that I would. Now let's listen to it with the ums. I uh, went to the park yesterday and. Uh... So it basically just gets rid of the uhs and the ums and the ahs, which is awesome. The next super cool thing that we can do with this is create captions. So we already have our transcript here. Now we just click on this CC button, which is create captions. And we can set all of these settings to how we would like and then click create captions. So as you can see, now we have all of these subtitles here above our clip. And if you wanna see how to deal with these and make them animated and mass edit them, you can check out this video here. I made a much more in-depth video on that. Now, the last thing I wanna show you with the text-based editing is replacing words. So let's say every time I say this, I want to replace that word with that. So let's come down here where we have a few thises and let's hit replace all. And now, as you can see, all of those times where it said this, now it says that. And so that will reflect in your captions and in the transcript here. So those were the text-based editing tools. But let me show you a few more AI tools that will save you a few more hours on each of your projects. So let's start with the scene edit detection tool here. The scene edit detection tool basically does exactly what it sounds like. If you have a video that's already cut up or there's already cuts in the footage and you wanna make those cuts in your timeline, then you can use this tool. So right here, between these two keyframes, you can see that there is a cut. So let's right click our clip in the timeline and then click on scene edit detection and then just do apply a cut at each detected cut point. And let's hit analyze. And as you can see, it takes, you know, roughly 30 seconds to do this based on how long your footage is. And now we have cuts at each of the cut points in our footage, which just makes it really nice if you have a bunch of different shots and you want to pull them apart for whatever reason. This next AI tool is probably something that you would use a lot if you were converting long form footage into short form videos for, you know, TikTok or Instagram. So I have a horizontal shot from a podcast here. I'm going to scale it up so that it fits the screen. And now, as you can see, his face is sort of out of frame and the shot isn't moving at all. So we can use the auto reframe tool that you can find in your effects panel in this bottom left hand corner and drag that onto our footage. Then you want to hit analyze and you will see in the bottom right hand corner that it's analyzing for auto reframe and boom. Now let's replay this back. His face is in the center of the screen. As the camera moves, it follows his face and keeps it in the center. And if you want to change keyframes, you can click on overwrite generated path and you'll see the keyframes show up and you can edit each one of them individually. The final AI tool that I wanna show you is Color Match. So let's come up to Window here and then open the Lumetri Color Panel. Then let's click on our clip that we want to change the color of and come to our Lumetri Color Panel here and let's open up the Color Wheels and Match. Then let's hit Comparison View and you'll see we have a little slider here that we can drag. So I want this slider to be over this clip here because that's the color that I wanna use. So I'm gonna use this scene from Succession where Shiv is betraying Kendall. And now I'm gonna hit apply match. And as you can see, now on our clip over here, we have a color grade. So before, after. So let me go out of comparison view here, composite video. So this was the before, and then we used AI to apply a color match based on the color grade from a movie. And this was our final result. It's sort of like that dark, bleakish color grade from Succession. And I think it actually fits really well. Now I've used this tool before and it hasn't been too successful. I really like how this one turned out, but be careful. And I would recommend still playing around with things after you get this first match. So that's it. Those are currently all of the AI tools within Premiere Pro that I know of. If somehow I missed something, I would love to check it out. So please let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed and you found 
found something useful in this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn how to do this smooth zoom in and zoom out effect in Premiere Pro, then you might want to check out this video right here.